You know, the nicest part of kayaking on a lake is that you have a shore that you can be close to and also that nobody lives along the shore. You see, you get to see all this lovely stuff if nobody lives along there. When somebody lives along there, because it's a lovely location, then you get to see their yard, which is usually well mown, and their flower beds, which are all taken care of. And they, no matter what they do, it couldn't look as good as this, you know? This is so much better. In fact, I think it's illegal to mess up 10 feet from the water, because the, the lake needs that. The ecology of the lake needs it for its survival, or something like that. I think it's a good idea. It makes it a nice place. Of course, it's hard to get into a canoe like that. A kayak. I've never been on this side of the lake. I've lived here for, I guess, 13 years or so. And yet, I've never on, on this side of the lake because of course you don't want to swim down here it's too shallow and I haven't had the kayak forever and I guess I should just be quiet so you can hear the lovely nothing isn't that a beautiful photo there big stump look at the beavers have chewed that stump you see but then somebody cut it off on top There's a little, a little somewhere to go in there. It just looks so gorgeous when there's so many clouds. Look at those clouds. They all reflect and they look so beautiful. The water looks like it's made of something thicker than water. It's almost like kayaking into the painting. Oh, look at these red flowers there. Those are cardinal flowers. They're not very common. You very rarely see them around. Some places I suppose you would, but here you don't. There they are, red. Ooh, we're getting close to shore. Better back up. Oh, look at them all over there. I think I've seen them in other places in the world where there's a lot more of them. I don't think so. I got a camera on here. Hey, that's a piece of driftwood, isn't it? Pretty neat. from somebody eating it. Let's, let's have a good look here. This is likely from an animal who has come out and taken them, chewed them off, but didn't eat them all up. Muskrats do that, but they usually eat them all. I don't know why else they would have been cut. I love going exploring. It's fun. See those 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 reed things, those um, bulrushes or cattails. They had to be pulled up because. They wouldn't fall out like that. They wouldn't have come out of the water. They don't do that. And if you want to eat the bottom of them, you have to pull them. Oops, I'm going over something. 
Oh, look what we've got now. A cove that goes nowhere. But I don't want it. There's a guy on the lake up, the next lake up, or maybe the next lake down. No, I guess it's the next lake up the river shed that has, um, has an airplane. Oh, look at that. Stop and take a photo. Isn't that gorgeous? Did you want a photo of that? Let's see, we take the photo down that way. I hope you didn't get dizzy. I can't see it when I turn it like that without tipping the kayak over you see, and I don't want to do that. I'm going to look at it this way. The air is fresh. It's a clear day. It's not as humid as it has been. And it hasn't been hot at all this summer. It's really been lovely. It's just a little hotter than room temperature. I don't think it's gone up to 80 at all. Usually it goes up to 90. Well, it hasn't gone up to 90. I don't know about 80. Because I don't know American stuff. I only know Celsius. So I'll tell you in Celsius. It's been not much more than 26. I think that's about the highest it's been. And it has rained every day except four days in... June and July. Wow, isn't that another beautiful picture? Now the trouble with beautiful pictures is I have to turn off the camera, off video, so I can take photos. So I hate to make you feel second rate, really. I know that you are having your coffee with breakfast and you are enjoying watching this, but I won't be able to keep a photo of that, which will last me forever. Okay, I'll let you see it first. Okay, that's all you get, because I gotta take photos of stuff. It's too pretty to miss. See, I can just move all around here and you gotta make the photos like that so it's a third bottom and two thirds top. Or two thirds bottom and one third top. You see? Your photos should all be the the cent the horizon should never be in the center. I like it like that. And I like it like that. See, I don't think it's good to have the kayak in it, though. You should really get the kayak out of it. I think that would be okay. I put the kayak, just a little bit of kayak in. What do you think? Okay, so we could do this. So we, if we did it like this, we would get the reflections. And just a little sky. If we do it like that, we get mostly sky and a little reflection. I'll just have to play with this. So, ta-ta. This is Nancy today saying... Oh, he's saying something, eh? Doesn't shut up. Okay, goodbye. Don't use that word. Shut up, I mean. That's not nice. You should say hush. Nancy today never hushes.